the old elders would take us to the river to greet the sun and for a plunging ceremony. The old elders would call the river the long human being. They saw the river as a living creature. They would take us to the river. The oldest of the elders would bend down beside the river and talk to it. Would ask it for permission to enter its body for a cleansing and healing ceremony. He would address all those things that lived and dwelled in that river. Those things can be seen and those things that were unseen. He also addressed the spirit of this long creature that he called the long human being, seeking permission to enter the body for a cleansing and healing ceremony. And when he received the sign, a voice spoke to him. He beckoned all of us to the edge of the river. And we stood where the water touched the shore, which he said was the most sacred spot upon the earth. He addressed the river. He addressed all four directions. And then on the signal which he received, we all moved forward into the river till the water reached our breast. We all turned and faced the east, raised our arms, as we could hear him chanting and singing and speaking prayers that seemed to vibrate off from mountain to mountain, which made many voices. He raised us through the seven heavens, and then he blew a whistle, and we all submerged once, twice, and again, and again, until we reached the number seven. The whistle blowed. We all stood up, and we faced the direction where the sun was just beginning to peek out of the great bowl that covers the earth at night. We walked towards the sun. It got larger as we receded from the water. It was brand new, clean. So were we.